Hey guys, it's Jen. Uh, we just got back from our last shopping trip before Christmas. It's Monday the 21st. Yeah, it's the 21st. And <clears throat> in town down the mountain, it wasn't too bad. Weather-wise, it was just kind of rainy. And they have like green grass still, which is bizarre because up here on the mountain, we have like tons of snow and yeah. So we're kind of hoping to just stay put. We picked up, oh, this is Costco first. We picked up olive oil because we ran out basically, or we're about to run out for soap. We made almost 40 bars, just over 40 bars of soap to um, give out as Christmas gifts. And so we're a little low. We picked up semi-sweet chocolate chips. We got muffins. Those are the, like the double chocolate ones and those are um, the poppy seed ones, almond poppy seed. Um, we picked up pouches for Apollo. These are the sweet bee potato, apple, carrot, cinnamon, the ones with the purple lids. Normally we do these and the ones with green lids. These actually have more in them per pouch. Hello, Hunter. And um, they were almost $4 off per box. So we went ahead and picked up three. Uh, we got some of our eggs. We got this three pack of Chex Mix because Kurt wants to make um, his mom's Chex Mix recipe. Yeah, they're Chex, not Chex Mix. I confused myself. But we had already been to Walmart and picked up three boxes. And then um, we saw this and thought we'd pick it up in case he wants to make another batch at some point. It doesn't expire for like a year. We got coconut oil, also for soap and stuff like that. Um, picked up butter. We were doing kind of extra Christmas baking and stuff. and So we are running low. We got some shredded cheese. We got these because we're going to make pizzas. We really like these. We make our own sauce and put it on there. And then we can put whatever toppings we want. And here is Hunter modeling our fantastic bag of flour. Do you like the flour? Yeah, is it pretty cool? <laughs> um, and then from here over is Walmart. We picked these up because we don't have a roasting pan. And to make the Chex Mix, Kurt needs a big pan to be able to put in the oven. But we didn't have one. And when we were looking at actual roasting pans, they didn't have any that were like big they were like they were like half this size and they weren't as deep and we couldn't find anything decent so we just picked up these disposable ones we didn't need this money but they came in a pack of five so we just went with it we picked up bacon bits because i'm going to make um baked beans and we're gonna let the kids sprinkle that on theirs if they want they love bacon picked up this timer for homeschool stuff um I was out of liners and so we picked up some liners we picked up orange juice and apple cider so that we can make wassail there's milk two things of sour cream this Tillamook premium stuff is delicious it's totally awesome and if you think that all sour creams taste alike I don't think that you've tasted enough sour creams they are different these up we had one more chair to do and with the new floors I kind of don't want them scraped up picked up two bags of cranberries um, to put in the freezer um, to make cranberry salad. In fact, when we make that, I'll try to film it so that you guys have the recipe because it's really pretty good. I don't like cranberries, but I'll still eat some of it. Um, we picked up milk chocolate chips and coconut flakes, tomatoes, and lettuce because we are going to make taco salsa for Fritos. We got an onion that's going to go with the baked beans. Picked up some pizzas to have um, in the freezer for the kids crazy thing is usually we get like three or well half of however many we get with meat and then the other half just cheese because Thatcher likes just cheese but they did not have just cheese they had one that was a triple cheese and it was like the box was open it was weird so we just went with that we got these because I want the kids to eat the baked beans and I don't know if they'll eat it better if they can scoop it in those like somebody said that their kids eat it better that way and we picked up um, the corn chips for the taco sauce over Fritos. These are like Fritos, but they're a different brand and they're cheaper. Um, each one of the kids got to pick something that they wanted to make, like a Christmas treat this week. Ruben wanted to make sugar cookies, and I have never found a good sugar cookie recipe that turned out well, so we picked that up. And then Thatcher couldn't decide last night, so we said, okay, when we get to the baking aisle, you can just pick something. And he said peanut butter cookies, and I'm like, okay, we have stuff for peanut butter cookies at home, but... Um, 
we were there and he really wanted to get a little packet, so we just went with it. Uh, we got lemon juice for the wassail. We got Worcestershire sauce for um, the baked beans and something else. Dijon, also for the baked beans. V8, I think we have one in the pantry, but I wasn't sure, so we picked up one for the taco sauce over Fritos. We got two of these Hunt's Chunky Vegetable. I love this pasta sauce. It is hands down my favorite ever. And they only had two of them left, and they haven't had them the last few times, so we got some of that. We got onion salt for the um, Chex Mix. Maybe that's what that's for. Maybe that's for the Chex Mix, not for my beans. I can't remember. I haven't done the recipe before. It's a new one, so. Lots of bananas. The kids love bananas. And we're making banana bread if they go kind of off. Got these little oranges. Are these the cuties? Yeah, these are cuties. Um, and we broke into them in the car for a snack. We got some sharp shredded cheese. I picked this up because Apollo was kind of hungry and grumpy to give him in the car. And then I totally spaced it and he fell asleep. So he'll get that later. Got four cans of olives. Four cans of white beans. That is for the baked beans. And then here's our Chex cereal, the Chex Mix. And I'd be broken because Apollo is teething. Um, and then this was actually Kroger, or well, yeah, Kroger Fred Meyer. We picked these up because we chop them up and we use the leftover batter from our French toast to make like a sausage bake. And then the kids get to eat it the next morning and they love it, so we picked these up. They're nice and firm and should absorb the batter nicely. And then this, because this goes in the baked beans. So, that is all of it. Hope you guys are having a really good Christmas season. And hopefully we won't get too terribly snowed in because I have packages that need to still get here. And the FedEx driver may not make it up my driveway. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.